India's focus, policy focus on uh, becoming a semiconductor hub has been seen in the ongoing Semicon Summit, which is on in the capital right now. And while we keep hearing every few days about the next step in making India a semiconductor hub, it's interesting to understand how exactly we're doing that from every angle. And to help us doing that today, I'm joined by Regu Ayaswamy. He's the Senior Vice President and Global Head of IoT and Digital Engineering at TCS. In fact, he's joining us from the India Semicon event as well. Mr. Ayaswamy, thank you so much for speaking with us at NDTV Profit. Absolutely fantastic to have you here on the channel. Let's, let's begin by understanding broadly TCS's contribution, I know it's a two-decade journey for TCS, software giant, in the semiconductor space. But right now, what is the kind of role you see TCS play? Thank you, Tamanna. It's a great pleasure to join uh, this session from Semicon India event here in Delhi. Um, this is a place where there is a lot of excitement happening around the, the semiconductor arena and the semiconductor focus for India. TCS has been in this business for more than two decades, working with major global semiconductor manufacturers as well as equipment providers. We work with semiconductor equipment providers who actually make machines and devices that make the chips that is required for the semiconductor industry. And also we work with many semiconductor manufacturers who make those design and make those chips. In the role we see in TCS and today we play and we will be accelerating this role is to first in the initial part of the semiconductor life cycle, which is the design phase, where what we call the uh, system on chip, SOC designs. So we'll be working with the major manufacturers and startups and many companies to design the chip, which includes several design phases. From the design, it moves on to validation and verification, and we will play a greater role in the verification and validation too. The chips are then goes to the fabs, and the TCS doesn't have fabs, but we will be working with many fabs, including our own uh, Tata Electronics fab that is coming up uh, in a few years to actually manufacture those chips. And in the manufacturing of the chip also, the fab, they call it, it involves quite a lot of processes, quite a lot of uh, systems and data and analytics. And today, AI-led manufacturing in the fab industry is one of the prime goal for many manufacturers in the chip design industry. And we will be providing a lot of industry 4.0, smart manufacturing, data-based solutions, analytics, and AI-enabled digital twins for manufacturing side. So in essence, TCS will be playing a great amount of role in the design in the, of the chips engineering in the front, and also in helping uh, achieving the maximum optimization using AI in the manufacturing space. So, so just uh, let me understand the journey, Mr. Ayaswamy, because if, if I see it correctly, the focus used to be more on the R&D side as far as TCS is concerned. But you're moving ahead to design and other value-added aspects. Now, how far do you see this going? And can you give us a sense of that journey as well? So the journey is, um, as, as I said, semiconductor is not new to TCS. We have been working with them over two decades on many areas. But I think what is really happening is, if you, if you take the design, this is now SOCs are becoming very lot of applications. So we have autonomous uh, uh, chips that are coming for autonomous car industry. We have chips that are required for smart grid in the utility industries. We have chips that are required for medical devices. So in the front end, we are looking at the design phase or the R&D phase of designing the chip and ensuring the chip is getting manufactured in the plant. But we will also be working on the uh, 
downstream application industries as well. So for example, we are building smart meters for uh, utility industry, and those smart meters will have some of the newly designed chips which will carry AI on the edge. Similarly, we work with uh, auto automotive industry. In the automotive industry, we look at, for example, there is to bring some of these autonomous features, we need high performance edge computing chips. And we will be, on one hand, participating on the design of the chips. On the other hand, we will also be developing those applications that are required for the automotive industry for realizing autonomous car features. Yeah. So I think it's not just the R&D of the chip, we are also looking at the applications that are required. This mm -hmm. is just one part of it. The other part I told is about the whole manufacturing also could be transformed because of the AI, and we can bring a lot of solutions that go into the manufacturing. There are a lot of process in uh, semiconductor manufacturing, such as etching, polishing, lithography, and a whole lot of parameters, and it's a huge uh, power consumption, huge op opportunity for optimization. That's where data, AI, and cloud will play a larger role, and TCS would definitely be uh, in the central part of that, playing that role. You know, in, in terms of, uh, and, and I don't know how much you can add to this, uh, Mr. Ayaswamy, but from a future perspective, does this focus of TCS then become key? Uh, the company is already, of course, a leader on the software side, but the focus on uh, semiconductors and uh, Internet of Things and AI in the chip space, how big is this as a part of TCS's overall vision? Yes, it too, um, as I said in TCS, this uh, semiconductor would come from different um, sources of um, opportunity and uh, business for us. One is providing the R&D services and the chip design services, um, which we already have, and we will be expanding this multifold. Because I think the, uh, today I also am responsible for the Internet of Things business division. So we feel the uh, proliferation of application-specific system on chip would be like um, uh, expanding multifold. So that will be a huge stream and we will be expanding our headcount as well as our capabilities, tools and the knowledge on this uh, exponentially. And similarly, if you look at the uh, application, downstream applications that are happening in the engineering and R&D industries across all these industry segments I talked about, like medical device and um, utilities, as well as in automotive, we will see a tremendous growth opportunities there. Third is not stopping there, we can also um, address the huge opportunity because in India itself, there is such a large investment in uh, semiconductor industry. Uh, Tata Group itself is making uh, huge investments of close to 91,000 crore, and there are many other players are also setting up those fabs and factories right. here. And what TCS is... will have unique opportunity yes. to work just, with just, them just, just... also to implement some of this solution, not yes. just overseas, but also here in India. Absolutely. I, I know you, you're in a hurry, Mr. Ayaswami. So yes. just a couple of questions. What is the kind of investment you see on this side in terms of AI? You said you'll be increasing headcount as well. Could you quantify that? Yeah, we, um, right now, I, I'm afraid I can't quantify it, but whatever is required, because as, as you know that TCS has already trained more than uh, 200,000 employees in the AI and many of these new technologies, within the core chip design engineering itself, we are expanding our uh, uh, talent pool. We are hiring uh, fresh uh, engineers from out of uh, uh, schools and the universities as well as we are um, internally hiring from the market to improve the uh, number of available design engineers to support the chip design. Similarly, we are also hiring not only here, because fab process is uh, very unique, uh, not a lot of expertise available in India, uh, how you manufacture a chip in a manufacturing industry. To bring that domain, we are also hiring people in Japan, we are hiring mm. people in USA, uh, who are actually coming with fab experience to bring that 
who are here for India and for TCS to make those solutions. Today, yeah. we have a lot of technology around AI. We need to combine the domain expertise to really yes. provide a value solution to our so, to so semiconductor the, industry. So, you know, that, that brings me to my next and actually last question, because I know um, that TCS has been working with giants like NVIDIA. Now, you have a unique perspective on what India needs to do to truly become a semiconductor hub. Mr. Ayaswamy, how far away are we from coming to that level? We're making the investments, a lot of companies are coming in, including from your group, from the Tata group, but what is the distance we need to cover in India? No, I think um, from the design space, if you really look at, we can split this in two phases, the design phase and the manufacturing and actually realizing to an application phase. Design phase, I think we were, we are already ready and uh, the industry has been supporting multiple OEMs for, for their overseas engagements. So supporting that from an India perspective would not be a far uh, distance to travel and perhaps we may have to scale more capabilities because chips are becoming more complex now because there is a lot of AI on the edge. So chips are becoming complex, so design is also becoming complex, so we will probably have to enhance our skill in that area and that's not too far. From a manufacturing perspective, I think we have, we have see that all the right elements are coming together, the government incentive, the private capital investments coming into this industry, the commitment of various state and the federal government to provide the resources like water, power, and all of this. I think today we are in the right track, probably in a fast track to realize the manufacturing of the chips industry here in India. Perhaps in another two or maximum three years, we will see that India design chips rolling out of factories right here in India, and it will be a great uh, time for all of us in the industry. Absolutely. Thank you so much uh, for taking out the time. Riku Ayaswamy there, the Senior Vice President and Global Head of IoT and Digital Engineering at TCS. An interesting insight to what uh, one of the, uh, the biggest software companies in India is doing on the semiconductor end of things and how we're going to get to that stage of truly being cutting edge. Thank you so much.